Now I want to look at the third pass criteria which relates to learning outcome two. And the third pass criteria requires you to explain the relationship between different organizational functions and how they link to organizational objectives and structure. To answer the first part of this pass criteria, you really need to, to get to understand this complex relationship between the four main functions in an organization. That is between marketing, finance, HR and operations. For example, finance may control the amount of money allocated to the marketing budget. Finance may also be involved in discussions with HR about pay increases or perhaps what salary package to offer with a new, new position that HR are about to advertise. Operations will work closely with HR to identify the training needs of staff within their department and how best to meet them. Marketing may be working closely with operations to explore, for example, how practical it is to modify products for different markets, perhaps offering different sizes or modifications to meet the safety standards of different countries. So explore these and other examples of interfunctional relationships in your assignment. The second part of this pass criteria requires you to think a bit more widely about these different functions. You need to consider two things. How these objectives link to organisational objectives and to organisational structure. Each department may have their own targets or objectives or goals that to influence their activities. But these must work towards and be consistent with the organisation's overall mission and objectives. The final part of the PASS criteria asks you to consider organisational structure. So think here about line management structure. Here individual functions may have less autonomy with all major decisions made by the CEO or senior management. A CEO may have a bias towards a particular function. For example, if they come from a finance background, this may become the dominant function in the business. In a functionally organised organisation, there should be a fairly equal relationship between the different parts of the business and each one holding a, a similar position in the hierarchy of the organisation. And in a matrix organisation, uh, where people report both vertically and horizontally, uh, there should be much more scope for collaboration between different organisational functions.